So I, I think there's a, a sense of, I mean, I don't, I don't think economics should be held accountable in the same way as you wouldn't say that engineering should be held accountable for the challenger disaster. Uh, that, that is that there's a, uh, so, so accountability sh to some extent is an individual thing. So uh, one of the problems of, of uh, accountability also is that uh, is, is the problem of attribution. You know, nothing that happens in society can be easily attributed to one original cause, right? Because it's, it, it, it's, um, it's the outcome of many moving pieces. Uh, and it, it's hard to, very often hard to attribute responsibility to one particular action or one particular thing that somebody said at a meeting or an advice that somebody, so, somebody um, uh, said, because, you know, in their defense, they can always say yes, but I, I, I mentioned that in the context of the 10 other things that didn't happen or whatever, right? So I think that the attribution is, 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 an, is a problem on the bad side when things go wrong or on the good side. Everybody wants to take credit for, for things that might have happened without their, without their participation anyway. So um, I think that um, what's more important, I think, is that we learn and that, we, that, that uh, to the extent that we make uh, mistakes, that, um, that we think about issues uh, with some ideas in mind and then uh, reality ended up being different, uh, that we have the capacity to learn and correct. So for example, right now there's a big debate in the US between people who are very friendly to each other, uh, say um, between Larry Summers on the one hand and maybe Paul Krugman or, or others or uh, Janet Yellen on the other, uh, about you know, how much is too much? That is, what is the productive capacity of the economy? Well, economists used to think that uh, if unemployment went below 5% or 4%, you would get uh, inflation accelerating and the economy overheating and putting you know, uh, the possibility of a need for a recession to cut the process off. Then we have seen you know, unemployment go to three and a half, three percent and so on, and, and nothing happened to inflation or whatever. And so, so right now we just, we know that in some sense, we know that we don't know, we thought we knew. It's very important that uh, when, when the world tells us something that we thought we knew but didn't, that we recognize it and that we correct. And, and that, that in my mind is, is it's the most useful thing that that um, that we are able to uh, to learn from from uh, our own priors. I mean, in some sense, uh, you know, I'm very Bayesian in the sense that you have some priors and then something happens and then you update your priors. How how good is our process of updating? I, I would give it to you that there are some economists that are so uh, uh, believe so much their their assumptions that they cannot imagine that their assumptions might uh, might not be warranted and, and and but cannot think outside of them and and I think that that's a defect in thinking but uh, so that's why I think it's it's very important that we leave uh, that we leave enough room for for us to update our assumptions about the world uh, by through the experience that we have in acting on the world.